today I'm going to walk you through the essential steps to check your air brakes on your semi truck. Before completing your in cab air brake test, you need to visually inspect the individual components of the air brake system during your walk around portion of your pre trip. During this process, you want to make sure that you are parked on level ground and that the wheels are chalked to prevent the vehicle from moving. You also need to release the parking brakes so that you can move the slack adjusters. When doing your inspection, you wanna make sure that you wear gloves and pull hard on each slack adjuster that you can reach. If a slack adjuster has more than one inch of play, it probably needs to be adjusted. And also make sure you listen for any leaks while inspecting the brake system. You also need to check the following. First, the brake drums. You wanna make sure that they are not cracked, bent, or broken. Next is the brake lining. You wanna make sure that the brake lining is not crack bent or broken and that the brake lining thickness is no less than a quarter inch at the center. Next, you wanna check the air hoses to make sure that they are not ripped, torn, or frayed. Once your walk around is complete, you can move on to the in-cab air brake test. So with the engine running, build your pressure up to 120 PSI. Pump down until the air pressure is at 90 PSI and stop pumping. Now the compressor should begin to build up air pressure and let it build up to 120 PSI. At this point, you'll hear the compressor cut out when you hear the air exhaust from the air dryer. Next, shift the transmission into neutral, turn your engine off and put the key in the on position without starting your truck. You wanna release your brakes by pushing in the red and the yellow buttons and this will allow your air pressure gauge to stabilize. Then you want to complete your applied pressure test and check for leaks by pushing the brake pedal down firmly and holding it for one minute. You want to watch your air gauges and listen out the window for signs of air leaks. Air loss should not be more than four PSI for a tractor and a trailer and three PSI for just the tractor. Pump down the brake pedal repeatedly to reduce your air tank pressure. The low air pressure warning and signal must come on before the pressure drops to less than 60 PSI. Next, you want to pump your brakes down to 40 PSI and your red and yellow knobs should pop out. Next, you want to remove the chalk box and stow them away. Ensure that the truck is off while you're doing this, then enter the cab and start the engine and build the pressure back up to 120 PSI. When the engine is at operating RPMs, the pressure should build from about 85 to 100 PSI within 45 seconds. Next, place the transmission into drive and push the yellow button in. Gently pull against the trailer parking brakes. Your unit should move, but do not drag the trailer. Then pull the yellow button out and push in the red button. Gently pull against the tractor parking brakes and your unit should not move. For your final test, Make sure both your red and yellow buttons are pushed in. And now drive forward slowly about five miles per hour and apply your service brake. Your unit should stop without pulling to either side and without any grinding noises. And that completes our guide for checking air brakes on a semi truck. If you're looking to join a company that's invested in driver safety, check out schneiderjobs.com or 800 pride And as always, remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel to get even more truck driving content.